Why, hello there, fellow Lightworks people. I'm going to show you how to smooth out audio so the loud parts sound quieter and the quiet parts sound loud. So for your listening pleasure, I recorded this track where I'm basically screaming for part of it and talking really quietly for the next part. Let's have a listen. Then I get loud like this. But so is being loud. Well, how the heck do you fix that? Well, it's pretty simple with the new version of Lightworks that has a compressor built in. So we're going to click the audio tab, and it turns into this fancy schmancy audio tab here. And we have our effects window here. You know, you can um, click the plus to add a new effect, or you can just you know find the compressor which I already did right here and then drag and drop that guy right down there and you see the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna bring up the pre-gain because this is gonna increase the gain for these quiet parts now it's also gonna do it for the loud parts so the loud parts are getting even louder right now but this is the first step so I'm gonna play this and just slide this up as I play it and I'll watch the audio and the meter increase as I Bring the gain up. See, now it's almost at zero, but if I put the gain back down here, you can see the levels are here. But when I bring the gain up to, say, here, you'll see the levels rise. Now they're up here. Of course, this part's also increasing the gain. So let's leave the gain here. The gain's at, well, 13.1. We'll leave it. So now, the threshold. See, what is this? When you slide this up... I wish, I wish it wouldn't play automatically. But when you slide it up, you're basically allowing more of the loud parts to pass by the filter. So if I bring this up, it won't make any difference. See, that's still loud. But when you bring it down, you're making it so the more of the loud parts are picked up by the filter. Basically, that's you know like the decibel range. You lower these, then, then see, look at this. When I lower this, the filter is now picking up more of that loud section is being picked up by the filter. So you don't have to lower it all the way down to here. You know, you can still have some dynamic range. You know, so we can bring it to there, let's say. And then we have this ratio here. See, this is a, a colon and then a number one. So right now, the ratio is two to one. Well, the closer to one to one, the less of an effect, the, the less of an effect there is. The filter does nothing when it's one to one. See that? So if I increase the ratio so now it's say one to five it's it's going to compress the loud parts more as compared to the quiet parts basically it's like a comparison the 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 louder parts when it's one when it's five to one for instance it will compress it more and bring it more towards the quiet parts and if it's 10 to 1 or 12 to 1 in this case it does it even more You see that the, the the loud parts like watch the the audio here now with this with how this is set the loud parts they're not even increasing on the meter at all just watch you see that the loud parts are barely increasing so I'm gonna bring this down a bit and allow the loud parts to be a bit louder than they are you know it just sounds a bit better. And you can bring this up. You, know, you still want to have some dynamic range. So let's bring the ratio down a little bit more. So it won't compress it quite as much. You know, let's bring the threshold back up a little. 
So that way it doesn't um, compress it quite as much again. Yeah, we'll bring the 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 uh, ratio up a bit more. And now you have the release in the attack here. The this just it it, um, it makes the filter respond faster or slower. Typically with music, you might want to increase the amount of time it takes the filter to respond to the audio changes, so that way you're not compressing too much. But in this case, I want the filter to just respond instantaneously. So I'm going to bring the milliseconds to zero. Now it's just going to respond instantaneously. The same thing with release. It's going to release the filter at, say, um, 1,500 milliseconds if I leave it there. It's slower to release the filter. Well, if you're doing audio for music, you might want a slower release so it, it fades in more smoothly. But in this case, I don't care. I want it at zero. It's nice and easy. And then the makeup gang, this just it, it increases the gain for the output of the filter but I just adjusted this with the uh, pre-gain already so I'm going to leave that as is and now let's just watch this as is and you can see that the actual difference in the loudness is negligible the quiet parts are ar around here the loud parts are a little bit higher and you can adjust all this. I mean, you can um, bring the ratio down a little if you want to give the the loud parts a bit a bit more oomph. For instance, you could bring this down. You could bring this up a bit, so that way it doesn't affect the loud parts quite as much. And you can have a bit more dynamic range. And as you can see, I brought the ratio down, and, and the and the loud parts got louder because it's not affecting it as much. Then I get loud like this. I, mean, I mean, look at the difference in that clip. See now the 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 quiet parts are now legible. You can now hear them. But when you adjust these, you know, the threshold and the ratio, especially. You can still give the loud parts a little bit of more loudness if you want, or you can compress them all the way down to where the quiet parts are if you want. Um, you know, now let's just turn the filter off and just remember what it originally sounded like. Then I get loud like this. And now we're going to turn it back on and look at the second part. I mean, and so now you can hear the difference. The quiet parts are now louder because we brought the gain up. You know, and I could bring the gain up even more and uh, make them even louder, then compress the loud parts down even more and get, you know, something closer to the same level. Let's just, why not? Let's just go ahead and do that. So I brought the gain up. And now let's bring the threshold for this down a bit. And let's bring the the ratio up. Bring this down a little. See now it's oh, bring it up rather. Now it's affecting the quiet parts too. But let's just bring the ratio up. Being loud. 
So you saw that time as I brought the ratio up and I brought the threshold back down, the difference was negligible. It didn't even move. So let's look at that again. Watch the audio meter. You see that it barely even makes a difference anymore. So you can you can adjust these settings on the uh, compressor. This is a new filter with the new uh, light works that they just came out with. 2022 is when I'm making this, and it makes a big difference in how your audio sounds. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to uh, see you watching more videos. Please like, share this video, subscribe. I would really love for it to start getting more views. I'm back on YouTube, back to making tutorials after a little bit of a hiatus. So uh, please share the video on your social media and like it and keep watching. Thank you.